Leo Hendrik Bakeland, the inventor of Bakelite, was also a successful businessman. By the early 1920s, Leo's venture was thriving as Bakelite transformed manufacturing, industrial design, and America's expanding consumer economy. To further secure Bakelite's reputation and its place in history, Leo Bakeland commissioned John Kimberly Mumford to write an historical essay about Bakelite. In 1924, Mumford published the story of Bakelite. Written in the grandiose style of the time, it glorifies Leo's invention. Here are excerpts from that book. Looking back to the morning of the world, Bakelite lingered till the day of crying need. It was hidden in the coal of mountains and in the wood of trees. It is a wonder stuff. The elements of which were prepared then laid away till civilization wanted it badly enough to hunt out its parts, to find a way to put them together and set them to work. Child of wood and coal, Bakelite resembles neither. Heat makes it, but heat can never again melt it. Acids will not cut it. Alcohol or solvents will not dissolve it. Water, which was its grandparent, will not penetrate it. It is at once a contradiction, a mystery, a tireless factotum, a triumph of creative chemistry. The day of the chemist had arrived. Bakelite had been playing blind man's bluff with chemists for 50 years. Many wise men set out upon it, but quit and went looking for something easier. Those who had struggled with the phenol formaldehyde equation really didn't know where they were going. So many different things can happen using the same ingredients under seemingly identical conditions. Dr. Leo H. Bakeland was looking over the entire chemical field for a first-class job that somebody else couldn't do. In all previous manifestations of this phenol-formaldehyde combination, there had been revealed an almost human perversity, a mischievousness that bordered on diabolism. But Leo Bakeland kept feeling his way along. The one thing he didn't do was quit. When it was ended, the elusive thing he had been pursuing was backed into a corner where it could never get away. Leo Bakeland discovered where all his predecessors had blundered. Counterpressure was the answer. He did it by compressing the air in his oven, and instead of fearing heat, he crowded it on even up to three or four hundred degrees Fahrenheit. It worked. He would crowd the molten material into the small crevices of a mold under high pressure and heat. It was now a matter of commercial adaptation. When an article emerges from the mold, it comes out shining like a new piano. It is a wonder stuff. Born with an endurance that ought to make metal ashamed of itself, its limitations remain to be discovered. To follow Bakelite in its many forms would be a lifetime journey. Wherever wheels were, wherever women preen themselves in the glitter of electric lights, Wherever a ship plows the sea, or an airplane floats in the blue. Wherever people are living in the modern world, 
there Bakelite will be found, rendering its enduring service. Bakelite, a triumph of creative chemistry. Truly the material of a thousand uses. <laughs>